Now, the second method used to establish the initial basic feasible solution is what we call the least common method, or also known as the greedy method. The greedy method is a systematized procedure used to find an initial feasible solution to a transportation problem. Now, in this method, the allocation begins with the cell, which has the minimum cost, and the lower cost cells are chosen over the higher cost cells with the objective to have the least cost of the transportation. Now, in order for us to better understand the least cost method, let us have our example. So this is how our example looks like, okay? As you can notice, we have source column. So with respect to source column, you have three sources, source one, two, and three. And also, you have your destination columns. And your destination is denoted by points A, B, C, and D, respectively. And for the last column, you have your supply column in terms of pieces. And your last row is your demand row, which is in pieces. And as you can notice, this is an example of a balanced transportation problem. Now, in order for us to be guided in doing the least cost method, then we need to strictly follow the steps. Now, first one in least cost method, that would be identify the cell that has the lowest unit cost. If there is a tie, select one arbitrarily. Allocate the quantity to this cell that is equal to the lower of the available supply for the row and the demand for the column. Now, going back to our problem, we have 12 different costs, right? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. These are our transportation costs. Now, with respect to this um cost that we have the least cost is we have six and therefore this is the cell in which we will do our first allocation okay so this is where we will allocate first so how do we do that how do we allocate now in allocating we need to match the quantity of our demand and the quantity of our supply as you can notice the quantity of our supply in with respect to source 1, destination B, which is this cell, is 400 pieces. And for the demand, you have 425. Now, what we need to allocate is the one which has the least value. And apparently, your supply has the least value, 400. So therefore, I will be allocating 400 pieces right here. Okay, that will be step number one. And step number two. Step number two says, mark out the cell in the row or column that has been exhausted or both if both have exhausted and adjust the remaining row or column total accordingly. Now, in doing step number two, as you can notice, we have already um allocated 400 of our supply and therefore 400 minus 400 this becomes zero right and 425 minus 400 this becomes uh 425 minus 400 this becomes 25 pieces okay that's step number two and for step number three it says identify the cell with the lowest cost from the remaining cells. Allocate a quantity to this cell that is equal to the lower of the available supply of the row and the demand for the column. Now, before moving on to step number three, since we have already satisfied this one, we have already canceled out this one, right? So what we need to do next is to mark this out. Mark the entire row which is the row source one we will no longer be needing this row since this has been exhausted already okay and since this has been exhausted already then we are 
having the remaining columns or the remaining cells. And our remaining cells, that would be uh, this one right here, one, two, three, four columns and two rows. These are our remaining cells. And like I said earlier, for step number three, we need to identify the cell with the lowest cost from the remaining cells. Now, as you can notice, for our remaining cells, the lowest cost, that would be seven, right? But remember, there are duplications. We have two sevens right here. Seven here and seven here. Now, as you can recall, in step number one, it is stated here that if there is a tie, we need to select one arbitrarily, which means to say that we have the right, we have the prerogative to select based on our preferences, okay, based on our personal whim. So in this case, I will be selecting this um, column right here or this cell, uh, cell source 2 and destination A, okay. So with respect to this one, I will be matching the quantity of my demand versus the quantity of my supply. As you can notice, the quantity of my demand is 325 pieces and the quantity of my supply is 500 pieces. Now, since your demand has the least value, then this will be the one that I will be using to allocate here. So I will be plugging in 325 pieces, okay? And next, since I have already allocated 325, therefore 325 minus 325, this becomes zero, okay? This will be satisfied, this will be exhausted. And since this will be exhausted, we will be marking this out. We will be no longer using this entire column, which is column A. And we will be doing the reduction as well of the quantity of our supply. So 500 minus 325. So that becomes 175. Okay, 175. And next thing that we need to do is to look at our remaining cells. So our remaining cells, we have cells 11, 8, 8, 10, 14, 7. And based on our remaining cells, the least cost value is you have seven. And therefore, I will be doing my next allocation right here. There. And remember that in doing the allocation, we need to match the values of your demand versus your supply. Now, with respect to this cell, my demand is 275 and my supply is 600. Clearly, 275 has the least value and therefore I will be plugging in this value right here 275 pieces so 275 minus 275 this becomes zero and 600 minus 275 that becomes 500 I'm sorry that becomes 325 Okay, three, two, five. Since we already have satisfied this amount, we have already exhausted this one, which means that we are now able to mark this entire column because we will no longer be needing this column. Okay, so after marking out that column, we are now left with how many cells? We have four cells. We have 11, 8, 8, and 10. Now, remember that in choosing the next allocation, we need to do the allocation in the one which has the least cost. Now, now as you can see, there are two duplications here. We have uh, two eights. So, as mentioned earlier, if you have two duplications or if there is a tie, then you have the chance to choose arbitrarily based on your own preference, based on your personal whim. So in this case, as for this matter, I will be choosing uh, to select this cell right here. So I will do my allocation here. 
Now, in doing my allocation, I need to match again the quantity of my demand versus the quantity of my supply. Now, in this case, with respect to this cell, the quantity of my supply is 325 and the quantity of my demand is 475. And therefore, since 325 has the least value, this will be the amount that I will be plugging in here, okay? I will be allocating 325 pieces. Okay, here you go. Now, 325 minus 325, this now becomes zero. This will be zeroed out, okay? And 475 minus 325, now this becomes 150. Now, since this has been zeroed out or exhausted already, that means to say that we can now cancel out this entire row. We will no longer be using this one. By canceling that out, we are now left with two cells. We have cell 11 and cell 10. Now, since 10 has the least value, this will be um, the point in which we will be doing our next allocation. Now, we will be matching again the quantity of our demand versus our supply. For our supply, we have 175 and we have 150 for our demand. Now, I will be using 150 since this has the least value. Now, 150 minus 150, this becomes zero now. And 175 minus 150, this becomes 25. Okay, that's 25. And therefore, since this has been exhausted already, we can now cancel out this entire row because we will no longer be using this one. Okay, and now finally we are left with one cell. That would be cell number 11. So we will be doing our last allocation here. Okay, right there. And as you can notice, each value of your demand and your supply is both 25 pieces. So you plug in 25 pieces here and both will be zeroed out. Okay, this will become zero and this will be zeroed out as well. And since it has been zeroed out, all the cells now will be marked out, okay? So that is how you do least cost method. Now, how do we compute then? our total transportation cost for this one. Now, in doing so, we need to multiply uh, the amount that we have allocated to each transportation cost. Now, in this manner, um, transportation cost uh, would be equal to 400 times 6. So we have 400 times 6 plus you have 325 times 7, 325 times 7, plus 25 times 11, that's 25 times 11. You have 150 times 10, plus 150 times 10, plus 325 times 8, you have 325 times 8, and finally you have... Uh, 275 times 7. So 275 times 7. Now, in this case, our total transportation cost for our least cost method problem, that would be amounting to how much? Okay, if you will try to calculate, that would be amounting to 10,000. $975. Okay. One more time. That's $10,975. Okay. That will be our total cost.